It's funny the things that come back to you sometimes when uh, when something has been years you hadn't thought about it. As I was interviewing some of these older citizens, it just amazed me the things they wanted to point out, you know, the things they wanted people to know. And so they would talk to me about things like that. And um, they, I guess you're, I'm saying they appreciated their heritage. And uh, especially if you stop and, and put about five years of that against five years of now, you would get the picture real quick that, you know, they had a, they had a good foundation to build from. I could have sat for days and days and days. I had to stop and remind myself, okay, Elizabeth, this is old people and they're getting tired. You got, you got to quit asking. That's how it got started. And like I say, I had the, the experience to do it in person, and that was a, a treasure, was to interview them all in person. As I've looked back on my life, I bet I could walk up and down the streets in Fort Mill for two or three days and not see anything that measured up to what that was like, what I'm trying to say. But um, it was, it was a good place to grow up. And I guess that's why I've tried to do things like save some of the stuff, the history, and why I pushed so to get a museum to store some of it, because Fort Mill has been a unique place in South Carolina. So I just wanted to do all I could to protect it. As people look back, they'll treasure it more than the people that are seeing it right now, I think, because they're not that far from it. But as, as, the, as the years go on, I think some of these people think, God, wouldn't it have been great to live back then? What do you hope the museum will be like in maybe five years? Oh, twice the size it is now, I hope. Because, you know, Fort Mill's still growing. It's growing in different ways now. So we've got other stuff we've got to document to, to place in there. And I just want to see the museum more as a teaching uh, for those who weren't here for all the past. We've got to honor the past, but we've got to keep up with the future too. That sounds like the Fort Mill I grew up in.